Shalom Israel, Shalom Israel, all praises to the Messiah Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. Peace, love, and grace to all the true bloodline biblical Hebrew Israelites. My name is Brother Obidiah coming back at you on this episode on Arise, O Israel. My brothers and sisters all over the world, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites of the Bible, the so called black people that are scattered through the transatlantic slave trade through the sub-Saharan slave trade and other major slave trade in history. You are the true bloodline Hebrew Israelites. And welcome to again to this episode on Arise, O Israel. On Arise, O Israel, our mandate and our responsibility is to bring you back to the law, statutes, and commandment of the Elohim of Israel and to let you know that you are the Israelites of the Bible. That everything that is happening to you right now, the so-called black people, whatever that is we as a people are going on, are going through right now, is as a result of who we are, is as a result of what we did against our God, is as a result of the biblical prophecies that was prophesied that would befall the children of Israel. Which brings me back to our topic today. Our topic today is Jacob is in trouble all over the world. Jacob is in trouble. In a short time, we said Jacob's trouble. And we are going to bring it out from the scriptures so you'll be able to understand the biblical prophecies. The biblical prophecies of what is actually going on today. My brothers and sisters, bear in mind that we are in Jacob's trouble. Bear that in mind. Now, before we start, we want you to know that all power in heaven and in earth belongs to Yahweh. So we must say, Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai Bahashim Reka Kodash. We give the back honor, all glory, all adoration, all praises back to Yahweh through his son Yahweh Washai with the gift and the understanding of Ruach Edax, the Holy Spirit. Now, my brothers and sisters, we encourage you to get your King James Bible ready. Get your King James Bible ready because we are going to read out of King James Bible. Now, remember that everything that we read or everything that I'm going to teach you is going to come from the scriptures. Not of this word that I'm about to say or I'm about to teach you is my own word. I'm only going to read the scriptures and give you the understanding of those scriptures. So, please, get a pen and a pad ready. So you can write some informations down. Before I jump into this particular topic of Jacob's trouble. Jacob is in trouble. I'm going to let, let you know who Jacob is today. And I'm also going to let you know that wisdom comes from Mosai God. Because what I'm sharing with you is the wisdom and the understanding of the Bible. The wisdom and the knowledge that comes from the Bible. The book of Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 made it clear. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge. What is in the mouth of God? He says, God, Yahweh, whom the word called God, his Hebrew name is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. So the book of Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 said, The Lord giveth wisdom so the wisdom that we seek to be able to do and live and worship god in truth and in spirit that wisdom comes from god and it comes out of the mouth of god so what is the mouth of god let me read it again the book of proverbs chapter 2 verse 6 for the lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth that must out of god's mouth come to knowledge what is the mouth of god the Bible. This is the mouthpiece of the Elohim of Israel. Out of this Bible cometh knowledge 
and understanding. Understanding of what? Understanding of what is happening around you. What is going on all around you. When things are happening, when there is riot, there is wars. You need to go into the Bible to understand why are they happening. What is actually going on? So we see and SARS protests that is happening in Nigeria. We we'll see Black Lives Matters that is happening in United States of America for the so-called black people who are at present they call Africans, who are actually the true Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. So to understand why is this is it that the so-called black people is being oppressed day in, day out, in every nation where they reside? What is going on? Why is this happening to this particular group of people? The same kind of issues all over the place. Why? So the Bible says that if we want to understand this, we have to read the Bible. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, cometh knowledge and understanding. Understanding of what? What is happening today? So let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. And I read, he says, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. Which day? He's going to tell you. He's going to let us know. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. It's going to be a period of time where Jacob will be in trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. That means salvation is only going to come to Jacob. Jacob will be saved out of the present predicament. Out of the trouble that he found himself into. So what you see today that is called answers. What you see today as Philadelphia shooting. In the United States of America, they see police shooting and killing black people. Those are the Jacob's trouble. Who is Jacob? I'm going to show you who Jacob is. Please get your Bible ready. Get your Bible get ready. So when I ask you or when we are reading, you will be able to read with me. So who is Jacob today? So that, let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 35 verse 10. Genesis chapter 35 verse 10. Please go to the book of Genesis chapter 35 verse 10. And I read, he says, And God says unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. So God changed Jacob's name to Israel. So when Jacob is in trouble, that means Israelites are in trouble because his name was changed from Jacob to Israel. Pay attention, my brothers and sisters. Then, if you read down on 11, the book of Genesis chapter 35, verse 11, it says, And God said unto him, God said to who? To Israel, who was Jacob, because he changed his name and called his name now Israel. God said to him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. That means Jacob was changed to Israel. And Israel is going to have a lot of children and he's going to multiply. Then God says, A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. That means you are going to have so much children that you are going to become a nation. Which we, where, where we get Israelites from. Israel. Israelites means the descendant of Jacob. The brother of Esau. 
Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob was the chosen one. His name was changed to Israel. And he became a nation because God told him to be fruitful and to multiply. And a nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and the kings shall come out of thy loins. That means the kings that will rule the kingdom of heaven are going to come from the seed of Jacob. Let's stop there. Now we know that Jacob's name was changed to Israel. The book of Deuteronomy made it clear that Israel disobeyed God's law and commandments. And a curse was laid on them. Deuteronomy 28 from 15 to 68. And one of these curses said that the Israelites were going to be shipped in all nations. The Israelites were going to be shipped in all nations. Why? Because they disobeyed the law, statutes, and commandment of the Most High God. And when we, they get to those nations, they are going to serve their enemies. They are going to be sold as born men and born women. And nobody will be able to save them. Deuteronomy 28, 64-68. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 19. Remember, what I am giving you is a little bit of history of Jacob that became Israel. Who they are today. Remember that. That is what I'm doing now. So let's go to the book of Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 19. God said, And I scattered them. And I scattered them. Who's, who scattered them? The dam is Israel. Who is I? God. I scatter them among the heathens. Who is the heathens? Other nations that are not Israelites. The so-called white people are not Israelites. The so-called Arab people are not Israelites. The so-called Hausa Fulani, they are not Israelites. The so-called Chinese, they are not Israelites. The Bible called them the heathens. I will scatter the Israelites, the children of Israel, among the heathens. And they were despised. That means they were scattered. Throughout the countries, that means throughout the whole world, all the four corners of the world, according to their way and according to their doings, I judge them. So, Mosai God rendered a judgment unto the so called so called black people who are the Israelites. He scattered them. How did he scatter them? Transatlantic slave trade. That is how we know that we are the Israelites of the Bible because our ancestors went through those slave ships. Deuteronomy 28. 68 and when they entered unto the heathens whether they went they profaned my name when they said to them these are the people of the lord and are gone forth out of his land so when we were shipped all over the world all those nations nations they knew that we were the israelites we were taken away from Israel and we were shipped all over the world because we disobeyed our God. But I had pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel had profaned among the heathens, whither they went. So when we went to Biafra land, when we went to America, when we went to Canada, we we're still dwelling in sin, we we're still committing atrocities, we still do not come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. We started following the ways of those nations. We started celebrating birthdays. We started celebrating Christmas. We started celebrating Halloween. We started doing the things those nations does. So Mosiah said, I had pity for my name because we are the children of God. We were created to worship God. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 from 13 to 14. I had pity for my name, my holy name, which they, which the house of Israel has profaned among the heathens, which they, they went. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, I do not, I do not this for your sake. 
O house of Israel, but for my holy name's sake, which ye have profaned among the heathens, whither ye went. Mosai God is not going to give us salvation because of who we are. He's going to do it because of his own name. We are scattered among these nations. We are now dwelling with other nations. We are scattered all over the place. That is why we are being oppressed. Remember our topic last week. The book of Matthew chapter 11, 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Mosai God told us to come back to him. And not to put our trust in other nations. Remember all these things I'm, I'm bringing out is coming from the scriptures. The Bible. For the Lord given wisdom out of his mouth, out of the Bible, commit knowledge and understanding. So the understanding of who the Israelites are, understanding of who Jacob is, because Jacob is now in trouble. According to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7, Jacob is in trouble. So we are going to read Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7, we are going to read it down a little bit. So you will be able to understand a little bit more why Jacob is in trouble. Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7, and I read, he says, At last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. We are going to be saved out of this present situation. Yes, we will. That is why Mosai said, I'm not going to do that because of you. I'm going to do it for my holy name. That is what he said in the book of Ezekiel. I just read it. For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from thy neck and will burst thy bond, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of thee. Very soon, right now, the house of Fulani is serving themselves with us. They are stealing from our land. The soccer white people are serving themselves with the slaves, with the descendants of the slaves that were shipped to them. Go to Brazil, everywhere on the, in the world. Go to Canada. We are scattered all over the world. We are working for those nations. Those nations are serving themselves from us, from our labor, from our hard work. Those nations are serving themselves with us. They are using us. So the Bible says, in that day, he's going to remove, break his yoke from thy neck. That means he's going to release us from the shackle. All these nations hold on us. He's going to release us from the so-called white people. He's going to release us from the so-called Chinese people. He's going to release us from the so-called Aousa Fulani Caliphate. He's going to release us from all these nations that are oppressing us. That is what he's telling us. We are going to receive our salvation. So a time will come, they are no longer be able to serve themselves with us. They are going to no longer be able to use us to do their biddings. Nine, but they shall serve the Lord, their God. That means we are going to go back worshipping God, not Islam and Christianity. We are going to start doing the will of God according to the Bible. For wisdom, for the Lord given wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. The mouth of God is the Bible. So we are going to start doing the things that are written in the Bible. That is what Mosai is telling us. When we will receive salvation, we are going to serve him. Because right now, we are worshipping the gods of other nations. We are practicing a profane doctrines. We are celebrating a profane holidays that are not scriptural. Those holidays that you are celebrating or those days that you are celebrating that was given to you by your slave masters is against Mosai will. 
You are worshipping another God. That is not the Elohim of Israel. That is why Mosai God says, when he's going to strange us, he's going he's to save us from the hands of the people that is slaving us now. And we are going to worship him. But they shall serve the Lord their God. And David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. So King David will come back when Yahweh shall return. So therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. Remember, Jacob was sent to Israel. So whenever you hear Jacob, he is talking to the Israelites. Because he told Jacob, your name will be called Israel. And you're going to be, you're going to multiply. You're going to be fruitful. You're going to multiply. So the Israelites are the so-called black people that fit the prophecy of being scattered with a cargo ship, which is called transatlantic slave trade. You are the one that is in trouble. Jacob's trouble. Ensas is Jacob's trouble. Black Lives Matter in America is Jacob's trouble. You are in trouble, but you will be saved out of it. Let's watch a little bit of this video of what just happened, I believe, this week or last week. Actually, we're going to watch two videos. This is a, a violence protest in Philadelphia. Police called, police shot, police, police shot and killed a black man. Let me repeat it. Police shot and killed an Israelite. Right now, we are still under oppression. We are in trouble. Jacob is in trouble all over the world. Jacob is in trouble. Come unto me, all ye that labor. Mosai God is calling us to repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Jacob is in trouble all over the world. Let's bring it back a little bit. Just pay attention for those of you that cannot see it. Just open up your ears. You see that Jacob is in trouble. We are in the time of Jacob's trouble. Corrupting in Philadelphia, hours after police shot and killed a black man. Authorities say they were called to a residential neighborhood in West Philadelphia shortly before 5 p.m. Monday for a report of a man with a weapon. When police arrived, they say they found a man, later identified as 27-year-old Walter Wallace, who was holding a knife. Remember, this is Mosai's judgment. He was holding a knife when the police arrived. And he did not listen to the police. The police is an authority that was set up by Mosai God. Remember that. Let's go to the book of Romans. Let's go to the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 1. The book of Romans chapter 13 verse 1 and I read, it says, Let every soul be subjected unto the higher powers. The higher powers are the ones that set up the police unit. For there is no power but of God. That means every authority on earth today is set up by God himself. The powers that be are ordained of God. Whosoever, whosoever therefore resist, resisted the power, resisted the ordinance of God, so when the police is trying to tell you something and you don't listen, you are resisting the ordinances of God. Even though the police are being controlled by the enemies of Israel, God is the one that set them up above us. So we will be able to be chastised and punished for disobeying his commandments. So when they are carrying out their duty, you need to do what they say. Whosoever therefore resisted the power resisted the ordinances of God and they that resisted shall receive to themselves this domination. What happened here? Finishing it and uh, waving it erratically. Video capturing the chaotic scene. NBC News cannot verify what occurred before or after the events shown in the video. Police say after telling Wallace to drop the knife. The police is telling him to drop the knife. He refused. He kept approaching them with the knife and the Open fire. They open fire. And they that resist shall receive to themselves 
Domination. Destruction. Killing. The Bible is a true book. God set up these people, Esau, the so-called white people, that are controlling Nigeria through Great Britain, that are controlling America. God set them up above us for them to chastise us for our sins, for what we have done. Mosiah God says that we should come to him all year that are heavy laden, that he will give us rest. Marching on the street, and SARS, Black Lives Matter, will not give you rest. What will give you rest is coming back to God like he told you because he is the one that set up these people against us in order to punish us for breaking his commandments. Capish, Common sense. But we do not like to follow the Bible. The Bible already told you that for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, out of the Bible cometh knowledge and understanding. So we are breaking down the scriptures to let you know why the things are happening. For you to understand why the things that are happening are happening to you. Let's go to another video in Nigeria. There was a coffin set and these people were told not to be outside so so, and so time. They refused. And now the military in Nigeria sent out they are assassins, they are killers to go and kill innocent Nigerians. But in the eyes of Mosai God, you are not innocent because you are not following his ways. Let every soul be subjected to the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The power that be are ordained of God. Whether you like it or not, Mosai God is in control in Nigeria. He is doing things according to his will, not according to what you are praying for. You need to understand the Bible before you pray to God. You need to pray for understanding first. This is life ammunition being shot at the crowd. Some of the uh, military men are shooting up. Some of them are shooting to the crowd. That led to many casualties, that, many that were dead. This is called Jacob's trouble, according to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 7. I read it here. Jacob will be saved out of this, Mosiah God promised. Who are the victims? The Israelites. Jacob's trouble. Jacob is in trouble. All over the world, Jacob is in trouble. The book of Psalms, chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosai God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The secret place of the Mosai God is to do the will of God, to follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible of Mosai God that is written in the Bible. The Bible is the mouthpiece of God. The Bible is the desire of the Elohim of Israel. The Bible is the ordinances, the ways of God. So he that dwelleth in the secret place, he that kept God's law, statutes and commandments, which is the secret place, he will abide by the shadow of the Mosai God. Mosai God will protect you. So you don't go and march on the street when things are not good. You call on the Elohim of Israel. You follow the Bible. You keep his commandments. That's all you need to do. And wait for his salvation. Two, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress and my God. In him will I trust. So what, why are you marching on the street when the Bible tells you to trust in God? In him, only in God will you trust. Not in your so-called authorities. Why are you marching on the street? Why are you marching with Black Lives Matter? Answers. Why? The Bible says only God, only in Him, in God you will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the faller 
and from the noises of the pestilence. So when the destruction will come, he will del deliver you. Let's go to the book of Romans again, chapter 11. The book of Romans again, chapter 11, verse 7. And I read, it says, What then? What then? Israel had not obtained. Who is Israel? The so-called black people. The Yorubas and the Igbos, the Ashantes, the Bantus in East Coast of Africa. You are the Israelites of the Bible. What then Israel had not obtained? That which he seeketh for. What are we seeking? We are seeking the, of, of the understanding of what the hell is going on. That is what we are seeking for. Why are we being oppressed? Why are we, we being killed? Why are we police brutalizing us? Why is police shooting the so-called black people? Why? 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 We are seeking for answers. So the Bible says, What then Israel had not obtained, that which he seeketh for, but the election had obtained it. That means the elect, the one that be chosen to understand the Bible, has understood it. We have understood why these things are happening. The Bible told you that the elects have understood it. That is why we come out to teach the Bible. We have the understanding of the Bible. We know what is going on. We understand what is happening all in all these nations to our people. Other Israelites are still marching on the street and looking for answers. We already know what is going on. God's willing. Based on what I'm reading, that we are going to be one of the elects. If we stay steady fast in our ways, if we keep the ways of the Lord to the end, according to the book of Revelation, he that endured to the end, the same will I give power to rule over nations. So we pray that we keep keeping the ways of God up until the end. Based on what we are reading, we have the understanding of what Israel is seeking for. Israel is seeking for peace. Israel is seeking for no violence. Israel wants to live in peace. But the truth is that the Mosai God has given the understanding to the elects of Israel. And that is why you see men sighing and crying on social media platform, teaching the Bible as it is written. Hebrew Israelites teaching the Bible on highways and byways as it is written. Because the elects have understood what is going on. It's right here. What, what then Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for? But the election had obtained it and the rest were blinded. So those people that were are marching answers, answers, they are blinded. They don't know what the hell is going on. They don't understand the Bible. Black Lives Matter, they are blinded. Biafra must come. You are blinded. You don't know what is going on. You don't understand who you are and why these things are happening to you. The Bible says, if you want wisdom, seek the wisdom from the mouthpiece of God, which is the Bible. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 27. The book of Jeremiah 46, 27. And I read, <clears throat> All praises to the Most High. Jeremiah 46, 27. And I read, it says, But the fear, but fear not, Thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off. Mosai God is telling us, those of you that have repented, not those of you that are still mumishly and foolishly committing sins and atrocities and celebrating all these fake holidays and still marching on the street looking for answers from the same people that are killing you. 
He's talking to the Israelites that has repented and they are seeking his face. The ones that will hear this message that I'm teaching and they will listen and they will repent. Those are the ones he's talking to. He's telling you, fear not, I will save thee from afar. That means he's going to save you from a stretch at arms. He will stay to save you from far away. How is he going to do that? That is the salvation we're talking about. And thy, then it says, And thy seed from the land of their captivity. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. See that? You see that? Who went to captivity? Who went to captivity, my brothers and sisters? He said he's going to save. He's going to save Israel and their seed from their captivity. Who went to captivity with transatlantic slave trade? The so-called black people. You are the one under this oppression. You are the same one that fit the prophecy that I'm reading. Mosiah God is saying he's going to save you. Only God will save you. There is no man that will save you. Only Yahweh Shai, the son of the God, when he will come back, he will save you. Save us. All we need to do right now is seek his face. Repent and keep his laws. So he will call up these watchdogs. This nation that are oppressing us, he will call them off. They will leave us alone. We will wait for our salvation. He says, And thy seed from the land of their captivity. Who went to captivity and had children when they went there? The so-called black people. So your children will be saved. And, the, and Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease. That is when we are going to have rest. That is when we are going to be at ease when Christ comes back and gives us salvation. Remember, the Bible said that it will, God is going to save us from far away. Let's go to the book of... Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 24. I'm going to prove to you how we are going to be saved from far away. Let's go to the book of and when. Like what what, what would be going on for we to receive that salvation? Seven lots from far away. The book of Matthew chapter 24, verse 29. And I read. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, this is the trouble. See what we're going through? We're going through trouble. Third world war is coming. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. That will be our salvation. Pay attention. The sun will darken, the moon will not give the sun light. The moon will not give us light. And the stars shall fall from heaven. The stars mean the satellite dishes. Because that means somebody is coming from above. So everything that is up there is going to fall down. And the powers of heaven shall be shaken. That is earthquake. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. That is who is going to give it Israel salvation. The sign the sign of the Son of Man will appear when this earthquake and darkness will come. He's coming to save these people that you see being shot on the street like animals. All over the world. In America, in Nigeria, because in Nigeria is the greater amount of the Israelites are in Africa. They are in Nigeria. The Yorubas and the Igbo, they are Israelites. They just don't know it. They are the people I'm reading about in the Bible. You can try all you want. You're not going to give freedom to Israelites. Only when Christ returns, which is what I'm reading. Remember, the Bible said, the book of Jeremiah said that it's going to save us from far away. So I'm going to prove that far away right now. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then shall all the tribe of the earth mourn. All other race of people, the black people, the so-called so white people, the so-called Arab people, the so-called Chinese people, they are going to mourn. They are going to start crying. Why? Because they have oppressed the children of Israel. They know that their judgment day is here. The house of Fulani will be crying. All your elites, all your politicians, they are going to be crying because they know that their judgment day has come. And they shall see, they means everybody, shall see the sign, they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 
they will see the Son of God, a black Messiah, according to the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 14 to 15, a black God, a black Son of God, a black Messiah will be coming from heaven. Then everybody will know that these so-called black people will have been oppressing. They are the children of Israel. They are the true bloodline, Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. That they will know that the, the, the one that they call Jesus, his Hebrew name is Yahweh Shai. They will know he's coming to save us from the hands of people that hate us. The book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68 to 72, made it clear that Christ was born to give salvation to the so-called black people. We are the Israelites, people. Everything that is happening is pointing the finger on us. That we are the people that have been oppressed. We are the people at the bottom. We are the people that are living beneath, under the pyramid structure. And, and he shall send. This is the, how he's going to save us from a stretched out arms. He's going to save, save us from far. And he, who is he? Yahweh Shai, the son of Mosai God, whom the world called Jesus Christ. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elects from the four wings, from one end of heaven to the other. The elects according to the book of Psalms, are Israelites that are keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. So he is going to send the angels. Your so-called UFO are going to be sent. They are the angels of God. Your enemies call them aliens. They are the angels of God. With the chariot of Israel, we are going to be out of this place. We are going to go into the chambers and wait for the destruction of the people that hate us, which is going to be the third world war. All these things are going to lead to, to the war of Armageddon, the third world war, destruction of all nations, nuclear thermal explosion. People are going to die in billions. Why? Because the Israelites are under oppression. The Israelites has to be avenged. The Israelites are under these nations and Jacob is in trouble because Jacob disobeyed God. His God sent him and his descendants to exile and we are now in exile under other nations being oppressed, chastised for our sins. So we need to come back to our father. We need to repent and come back to the law, statutes and commandments. We need to seek the Bible. Most high God is going to be our refuge when we live under his shadow. Which is the th law, statutes and commandment of the Elohim of Israel. So we are going to be saved from far. Means the angels will come for us. From far away they will come and get us out of this place. My brothers and sisters, you need to pray for the understanding of the scriptures. Because the election, the people that have been chosen to make into the kingdom have understood the Bible. And we are waking them up day in, day out. Because the spirit of the Elohim of Israel is moving around the whole planet. Let's go to the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah chapter 49, verse 8. Isaiah 49, 8, we're going to read down. And I read. It says, Thus says the Lord, In an acceptable time have I heard thee, and in the day of salvation have I helped thee, and I will preserve thee, and give thee, for a covenant of the people to establish the, the earth, to cause to inherit the desolate heritage. Messiah God is going to save us. He's going to give us power to rule all the people. We are going to come back down from the chariot. We are going to come back. We are going to now rule the desolate places 
All the pit places were, that was destroyed is going to be fixed. How? Because all these nations that slaved us are going to become our slave. According to the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 1 to 2. So we know what is going on and what is going to happen. The Bible is clear. So Mosai God is going to establish his agreement again. The same one he did in Mount Sinai with Moses. He's going to do it again with us, again. The book of Jeremiah said the same thing. The book of the Hebrews said the same thing. Then let's read 9. Remember I'm reading Isaiah 49, we read 8, uh, uh, chapter 49 verse 8, and we're reading verse 9 that now. It says, that thou mayest say to the prisoners, go forth to them that are in darkness, show yourselves, they shall feed in the ways, and their pastures shall be in all high places. They shall not hunger nor thirst, neither shall they heat nor sun smite them, for he that had mercy on them shall lead them even by the springs of waters, and sh shall he guide them. Most high God is going to restore everything that was taken from us. We are go not going to be thirsty anymore. We are going to be wealthy. We are going to rule the world. We are going to inherit the earth. And I will make all my mountains away, and my higher higher ways shall be exalted. Behold, this shall come from far. And lo, this from the north and from the west, and this from the lands of Sinon. My brothers and sisters, Israel is going to be restored. Let's go to the book of Daniel, chapter 12. The book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And I read, Book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. All praises to the Mosai. He said, and I read, and at that time, what is the time? At that time, shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and your Michael will stand up for the Israelites that are being oppressed today. The ones that are keeping the commandments among us. And there shall be a time of trouble. See that? We are now in the time of Jacob's trouble. So this trouble will continue until our salvation will happen. It's not going to stop. It's going to be one thing or, or the other. One thing or the other. It shall be a time of trouble such as never was seen. There was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. That is when we are going to receive salvation. The Israelites will be delivered. The so-called black people will be delivered from Aousa Fulani. They will be delivered from the so-called white people. They will be delivered from Chinese oppression and occupation. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Not everybody will be delivered. Only the ones that will be found written in the book. The ones that are doing the things of the ways, following the ways of God. Which is what we are calling you to do. Repent. So your name will be written in that book. So when the salvation will come, you will be among those people. Your name will be found written in the book. That is why we are doing this. Because Jacob is already in trouble. Jacob will be in trouble until Christ returns. You need to hear me, all Israel. All Israel, you need to listen. Repent. Come back to your God. Start keeping the words of your father. Stop following the words of these nations. Stop following these religions, Christians, Islam, and Christianity. Stop it. Repent and come back to your God. You are already in trouble. Jacob is in trouble. Your deliverance will happen very, very soon. Sooner than you anticipate. Your name must be found written in that book. You must follow the ways of God. You must stop following all these abominable doctrines and holidays. 
that you follow. Repent and be converted by the renewal of your mind. Follow the ways of God. Why am I doing this? I am doing this because I don't want your blood to be on my head. According to the book of Ezekiel. We are prophesizing for you to change your wicked ways. We are letting you know why things that are happening now is happening and what is going to come out of it. Seek the ways of Mosai God, not the ways of men. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. And I read, it says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. All these nations that are oppressing us, we are going to oppress them when Christ returns. That is what the Bible says. All they that devour thee shall be devoured. And all they, all thy adversaries, that means all our enemies, which is all the nations, all the rest of people hate the Israelites. They hate the so-called black people. Every one of them shall go into captivity. Didn't I tell you? He said the same thing on Isaiah chapter 14 from 1 to 2. Every one of the Aousa Fulani, every one of the so-called white people, every one of the so-called Indian people, every one of the so-called Arab people, every one of the so-called Chinese, Chinese people, they are going into captivity. They are going to slavery under the children of the Israelites. That is what the Bible is telling you right here. And they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Mosai God will subject them to humble them under us. For I will restore health unto thee. Israel will be restored. Right now we are in trouble. Jacob is in trouble. Israel is in trouble. We are going to be restored. For I will restore health unto thee. And I will heal thee in of thy wounds, said the Lord. Because they call thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion whom no man seeketh after. Because we are people before a place. So everywhere we are, we are Zion. Nobody is seeking after us. All our lovers has abandoned us, according to the Bible. All the people that used to come to Jerusalem to give gifts to King Solomon and King David, they all has abandoned us. I will bring thee, I will bring again. Thus says the Lord, behold, I will bring, bring again the captivity of Jacob, Jacob's tent, which is the household of Israel, and, and have mercy on his dwellings, places, and the city shall be builded upon her own hip, and the places shall remain after the manner thereof, and out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voices of them that make merits, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few, I will also Glorify them, and they shall not be small. We are going to receive spiritual powers. We are going to rule the whole world. We are going to be restored. We are going to go back to our glory. Because Christ only died for the children of Israel. So they will be able to be restored and forgiven. My brothers and sisters, you should also be working on your salvation right now by you coming back to the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability and seek the face of the Elohim of Israel. 20, 20 says, Their children also shall be aforetime and their, and their congregation shall be established before me and I will punish all that oppress them. Aousa Fulani will be punished. The Shoka white people will be punished. The Chinese will be punished. All the people that are oppressing us, they will be punished. That is the word the Bible said. So Jacob is presently and currently in trouble. Do not be ashamed or dismayed. You are going to receive your salvation, Israel. You are going to be rescued and restored 
from the hands of all that hate you. Just remember that who you are and come back to your God and do his will. My brothers and sisters, I want you to understand just being an Israelite is already an opportunity for you for your name to be written in the book. All you need to know is to keep the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your abilities. Let's go to the book of the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1. One to three. The book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. And I read. It says, For behold, in those days, in those days, and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem. Remember who went to captivity through the transatlantic slave trade? So we are going to be brought back to Jerusalem. We are going back home, Israel. Our salvation is near. Then he says, I will also gather all nations. All nations are these people that slaved us. Remember, we were shipped in all nations as slaves. I will also gather all nations and will, will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them. Where is the valley of Jehoshaphat? Middle East. Where you call Middle East today is the valley of Jehoshaphat. Mosai God is saying he's going to gather these nations. That means he's going to gather them for war. Third world war is coming. Because of the children of Israel. Israel has to be rescued from the hands of all these nations that oppresses them. So there is going to be third world war. It's going to happen because of the so-called black people. Your salvation is coming, Israel. You are going to be saved from far. Remember, the angels will come for you. Before the nuclear explosion will happen, will touch down, you'll be out of here. If only your name is found in the book, and your Michael will get you. He will give a command to his angels to get you. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them, dear for my people. See, Mosai God is going to plead to all nations for his people. Not begging them. Kill them. God plead by killing. Don't get it twisted. And for my heritage, Israel, whom they, whom they have scattered among the nations. Didn't all these nations scatter us and bought us as slaves? And parted my land. They took over our land. In Jerusalem, they took our land. The so-called white people and the Palestinians, they shared up our land. We are going to get our land back. Because that was our heritage. Three, and they has cast lot for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. We were sold in transatlantic slave trade. They bought our women. They were raping our women. They were using our men to breed more children for their, them for their wickedness. So they can grow a big farm. So our children will, our, uh, children will, will sleep with their sisters and make more children for them to become wealthy. God says he's going to destroy them. He's going to bring back Israel to, to, to where they belong. We are going to rule this, the whole world. And these people are going into captivity. I say payback. Isaiah chapter 14 from 1 to 2. And I read. It says. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Who is Jacob? And will yet choose Israel. Jacob is Israel. The same person. He changed his name. That was the first thing I read for you. He changed his name from Jacob to Israel. In Genesis 35. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them. And bring them to, the pla to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We are going to rule over these nations. All these people you see oppressing us. They are going to become your slave. In the kingdom of heaven. They will be here on earth. 
Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captive, whose captive they were, and they shall rule over their oppressor. We are going to rule over the same people that oppress us. Jacob is being oppressed right now. All over the world, we are oppressed and we are in trouble. We are what you the Bible called Jacob's trouble. And it's not going to end until Christ with us. So this is an opportunity for you to repent so you will be found in the book of life. So Michael and his angels will be able to get you. With that said, Israel, all praises to the Messiah Yahweh, to his son Yahweh Shai. Peace, love, and grace to all the bloodline, biblical, Hebrew, Israelites of the Bible. Shalom, Israel. Happy Sabbath day. All praises to the Messiah.